we were trying to find a little bit more time. I went into turn one and locked the rears. I think I broke about seven meters later than I had previously done um, and just lost it really. Hit the tire wall, I think it was about 197 kilometers an hour, so a pretty big shunt. Hey, can you hear me? Are you okay, mate? Uh, all over the place. Yeah, I lost consciousness for a little bit, which is why the marshals sort of elected to keep me in the car and then take me out and put me in the, in the ambulance and all the rest of it. I can remember most of it and it was fine, you know, I, was, I think as a precautionary measure they wanted me to stay overnight in hospital, which I did. A little bit annoying because obviously they keep you up all night checking your blood pressure every hour and all the rest of it, but you know, fair, fair play to them, they were really, uh, really looked after me and uh, especially the guys from the circuit were really helpful, especially this morning they came down and, and helped get me out sooner than uh, I probably would have done because sitting in the Lamar hospital all day on a Thursday when you got qualifying at seven is a bit tedious. Nick had a, quite a large accident uh, which basically destroyed the car. Gearbox, engine, all four corners, all the bodywork. The only thing that was really left that was salvageable was the tub, the core of the car. It looks like the damaged gearbox off the car. The, uh, the guys will be taking that away and putting it in the, uh, putting it in the spare truck and uh, go back to England where it'll be stripped and uh, installed out. The workload's been quite intense. Um, we arrived at the circuit at 8 o'clock yesterday morning. Um, so that now means we've been at the circuit for over 41 hours. It's been quite, a, quite an ordeal for the mechanics, but they've been great. And I think it's moments like these that galvanise a team. And this is where we hope that our team spirit will shine through and lead us to a great result on Sunday. OK, mate, start up. Just get into the queue. Just nudging we should get down this evening and it's it's brilliant, absolutely perfect. So instead of just doing loads of laps today, tonight on our race engine, race suspension, etc., we're just going to save the car for Saturday afternoon rather than going for a, an all-out attack on pole position. So yeah, I think we're being sensible. Every mile we put on that stuff is a mile that we potentially might not do in the race, so um, very important to do as little as possible tonight and get the boys off to the Chateau for an early night. Before Danny, we're handing over to Johnny. Uh, let's treat it as a hot swap, please. Looks like we probably won't be on pole, but it's a 24-hour race, you know. Had we had a chance to go for the shootout tonight, I think we would have maybe got it. There's definitely a few more seconds in the car, and obviously with quality tyres, we'd have made a big difference, but. Starting where we are, it's a long race, we're happy, we're in a good starting position and uh, it should set us in a really good starting point for Saturday morning. I'm going to let you quiet and let you just get on with it, okay mate? Have fun. Tomorrow is a very busy day actually, it's, uh, it's crazy that sometimes we can go on quite late into the night and obviously you've got to get up on Saturday morning for the warm up if you're doing the warm up and, and into the 24 hour race but uh, it's great to get out into town at the mall, meet everyone and just have a bit of a celebration before Saturday when you have to knuckle down to the serious race itself. Yeah, once again guys, thanks for everything. Great job over the last 24 hours, you've uh, been amazing. 